click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about different segments of a coupling. So, the coupling we have already studied in the topic of computer aided machine drawing. But there we have just gone through their drawings. Today we are going to start with their design aspects. So let us begin. So students, as you can see on the screen, I have shown some schematic. Let us try to understand it. Now we know that for power transmission, we use various shafts. Let us say there are two shafts. The one is the driver end shaft, another is the driven end shaft. Now, since there is some distance apart from them, we need to connect them by means. Let us say this is the mean which we have used for connecting them. Such means is nothing but couplings. Now, there comes different various types of couplings depending upon the location of the shaft, depending upon the length of the shaft, depending upon the alignment of the shaft or misalignment of the shaft. Now, let us look at how different they are. Now there is one possibility that it is perfectly aligned. In that case, we will use different kind of couplings and the couplings they are used in this case are mainly rigid coupling. The next thing is slight misalignment. Now in some cases that happens or that has to be kept purposely slight misalignment. In such case, we will go for the flexible coupling or we will go for the coupling light Oldham. And there is the third kind of shaft alignment that is the self alignment. In this case, depending upon the coupling, the shafts will align their self by some means. And there, we will go for flexible coupling. So these are the basic three types of various couplings that we are going to study as far as the design aspects are concerned. And we will solve the numerical based on these particular couplings. Now, like we said, there are three types of couplings. This one is the sleeve coupling, which is nothing but your old ham kind of coupling or some muff type of coupling. So these are the two main types which we are going to look at. There comes the rigid coupling and there comes the flexible coupling. So as far as the flexible coupling is concerned, we are going to look at the bush pin type coupling. And as far as the rigid coupling is concerned, we are going to look at the flange coupling. So let us begin with it. Now before we go ahead, we should understand what are the failure things in this. As you see, we know that the couplings are also going to rotate. So whatever torque is acting on the shaft and the counter shaft, they will act on the coupling also. And therefore, shear is one of the criteria, and that is because of torsional moment. Now since couplings are all together going to sustain not only the torsion but also the weights of different fragments they may undergo the crushing also and hence compression should be considered for the crushing. So let us look at the schematic again. Let us say this is the coupling part of course that will come with different design but the superficial part will look like this. When the driven shaft tries to rotate this particular thing in the same direction, that's the torque acting on it. But the opponent or the opposite shaft will try to reduce it because it has self inertia. So in that case, opposite side moment will act. In this, we know that the twisting takes place. So the twisting is nothing but torsion and that's why it may fail under torsional moment and that's why we need to consider the shear criteria for this particular type of coupling. Let's go to the compression thing. Now again there are two possibilities. Let's say these are two shafts and this is the coupling in between. There are chances that various forces will act maybe centrally or maybe in tangential manner or any other form they may try to compress the coupling or due to various mountings the coupling may experience the vertical loading transverse loading in that case also it may get crushed and that's why 
the comparison or the crushing should also be considered so the criteria of shear will be based on the tau value and the criteria of compression will be based on compressive stress value so as we see there are two criteria which we are going to consider let me tell you there are multiple steps that we need to follow the very first step is we are going to design the coupling based on the shaft so shaft dimension should be decided if they are already given we will design this for the safety of the shaft then we'll move to the coupling we'll find out its dimension and the very important thing is the design of keys so basically three different types of problems are covered in only one problem so design of shaft design of coupling and design of keys now various types of couplings are there we'll go to three to four types of couplings and we'll learn about their design procedure hereafter Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.